Hey y'all, I'm Tammy at All About Living, and today we're gonna make Tammy's chicken, okay? I have no idea what else to call it, so it's just Tammy's chicken. Yeah. When the kids were little, you know, we didn't have a whole lot of money, and whatever was in the fridge is what was in the fridge, and that's what was for dinner. And they loved chicken legs, and when they were growing up in the, you know, late 80s and 90s, chicken legs were <laughs> 20 cents a pound on sale. You know, you could pick them up even 30 cent, not on sale. So that's what we would do. So this is one of those meals that just stuck. And so I'm gonna show it to you today. It's just came and chicken. <laughs> All right, what you're gonna need, obviously, is some chicken legs as many as you need. You're gonna need some salt, some pepper, some thyme, some basil, some parsley, some olive oil, some chicken broth or water. Either one will be perfectly fine. Some tomatoes, or tomato sauce, it's just tomato sauce. Garlic, a couple of tablespoons of flour, an onion, and some carrots. That's it. All right. Normally, this would be a one-pot meal, and you absolutely can. You just have to do your veggies first instead of... But I'm in a hurry, and so we're going to do it in two pots so I can get my chicken cooking. Okay, y'all know me. I got to have my flame and my pan hot. This is going to be a medium flame. And my pot's gonna get hot. Okay, while that pan's getting hot, we are also gonna have some biscuits. And the reason for that is I had a subscriber ask me, had I ever used a Dutch oven on top of the stove to cook something that should go in the oven? And I really haven't. I have on an open fire, I've done that, and it works out beautifully but I've never really tried it on top of the stove, so we're gonna give it a shot. Okay, pot's hot. We're gonna put probably about five tablespoons of olive oil in there. And then I'm just gonna bring my chicken right over to the stove. And I'm gonna cut this chicken straight across down to the bone on both sides. I need a sharper knife. All right, but that's what we're looking for. We're just gonna cut it so that it cooks faster. Y'all know I'm all about that fast. All right, and we're just gonna lay them in the oil. This is where you call the chicken the star of the show. Okay, now I'm just going to start adding spices. I'm going to put my salt. I'm going to put pepper. Except I can't get in it. Got it. I'm 
Okay. Then you're going to need roughly a teaspoon of basil, which is not open. That's probably a good teaspoon. Teaspoon of thyme. And that's it for now. Now I'm going to flip. They should be good and brown. Yep. Brown that side. Probably maybe five, six minutes. Okay, now we're going to get started on the veggies that go in that other pot. We're going to get that started and we're going to get this pan hot. Check on that pan. Not quite ready. So I guess I'll go ahead and start on the carrots. But I am going to saute those onions first. Okay, we're going to right down the middle. And then we're going to go right down the middle again. Okay, same drill. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil, but I'm not going to put nearly as much as I did over there. Probably about two tablespoons. And I'm going to put my onion so I got room to cut that other carrot. Sizzle, hear that? Yep, my pan was ready. All right, now we'll finish cutting up that other carrot. Now, let's give that a good stir. Just let them saute. And I'm going flip, to flip my chicken again. Now it's brown on all sides. I'm going to put about a cup and a half, whatever I got left in here. And I'm going to get a lid on it. And I don't have, I mean, the lid that normally fits this pan, I'm going to have to use to try to make those biscuits. So this one will have to do.
Now it's time to put the carrots in there. There we go. Did I not? Yay, I didn't spill any on the stove. All right. Give those a stir. Just let them sit there and cook for a few more minutes. All, right, all you're going to need is some of my pancake and biscuit mix, which Randy can link up there or down there, some, wherever he puts it. And this is really good stuff. It makes your biscuits easy to make. Except it won't fit, huh? Okay. Well, I'm going to need two cups, and this is a half. So that's four of these. Two cups of biscuit mix and a half a cup of milk. And I'm out of milk, so I had to make me some. That's why it's in a quart jar. Gonna give that a mix. And I'm gonna need just a little more milk. Don't wanna overwork your dough. And you don't want to put too much in. So just a little at a time. And I'm still going to need a little more. It just depends on your flour and what day it is. You just start with a half. And then add by, you know, teaspoons. Until you get a nice biscuit batter. All right, now I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of flour across the top. Rub my hands good, and I'm going to take this pan, and I'm going to roll me a biscuit. Now, you can absolutely roll these out if you want to, but since I'm experimenting, I'm not going to waste a whole lot of time. Looks like I'm going to get five little biscuits. Now we're going to add about three good teaspoons of minced onion. Now if you have fresh, that's even way better, but I don't have any. I have used it all. Let that get good and fragrant. And y'all remember that two tablespoons of flour I had? I dumped it everywhere, so I gotta get another one. Okay. And we're gonna drop that right in on our veggies. I'll give that a good stir and get it all incorporated. Start it browning. And just keep moving it around until you don't see any like sitting on those carrots or anything. You want it all incorporated and a little bit brown. Okay, and don't worry about that little bit of stuff sticking in the bottom. Because it's fixing to come right off. Because we're going to add those tomatoes. The tomato sauce. It's tomato sauce, not tomatoes. It's just tomato sauce. Give 
Get that all in there. Hear that sizzle. It's deglazing that pan as we speak. Now my chicken's been cooking in that in that broth for about 15, 20 minutes. So it's pretty much done. And now I'm gonna add my veggies and my broth right on in there, just like that. Now we're gonna give that a good mix without spilling, getting it all over the stove top. Okay, and you'll want to just let that melt for a little while, you know, another 10, 15 minutes, just to make absolutely sure that those chicken legs are done. I'm going to put the lid back on now. And we're going to work on those biscuits. Okay, this is the biggest Dutch oven I have, so this is going to have to be the one that works. I have a round trivet in here, and I've set that down. And I'm going to put my biscuits on top of that trivet. And I'm going to pour my flour out everywhere. And I'm going to put this lid on. I'm going to put this eye probably on low and then I'll check it in a little bit and see how it's doing in there. But hopefully it'll only take 20 minutes to make biscuits just like it does in the, or I would guess 20 minutes it only takes like 12 to 15 in the oven. So I'm guessing maybe 20 minutes. I, we're going to see. We're going to see. And that's as closed as I can get it. And we'll see. Wish me luck. I really want a biscuit. gonna give my chicken a little stir make sure I'm not sticking and I'm not okay, see how thick that's getting that's just what that flour was supposed to do Get nice and thick like a grape okay my 20 minute timer just went off so this is the moment of truth I've I've reset my timer for another 10 minutes and we'll check them again. Hey, I just added another 10 minutes and I turned the flame up at the last 10 minutes. We'll see, okay? The jury is still out. I am still trying to make these biscuits, okay? All right, another 10 minutes. Let's see what we got. They still don't look done. See, they're bouncing back, so they may be done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put them out on a plate, and if they're brown on the other side, then I'll flip them. Or not. <sighs> yeah, look at that now. It is nice and brown. 
It absolutely is. So we're going to call this good. So now I guess I'll just get the rest out of the pan. Which are kind of sticking, which I don't understand why they would be sticking. Because y'all know I use lard and I put, I shouldn't have to put anything in that pan. There we go. They're coming. All right, let's get them open. See what we're looking at here. Oh yeah, they're done. They are done. Let's get some butter on there. I like lots of butter. Let's see if I can give it a taste test. Cause it did brown up nice on the bottom. It just, you know, it's not gonna brown on the top. I mean, that's not possible, but let's see. Okay, y'all, these biscuits are fine. Uh, they're good. Randy ate the other half of that, or that. It was one bite biscuit is what, you know, and he said they're very, very good. I thought they were good. So it does work. I think next time I will try it again. I will absolutely try it again because I would love to learn how to bake on top of my oven because I don't have an oven. So cooking on top of the stove oven style would be great for me. So I will try it again. I didn't have it up high enough. I thought, you know, because I cooked my biscuits in my frying pan on real low, I thought I would need to do that with the Dutch oven and I didn't want to burn my Dutch oven up but it didn't the bottom looks fine it didn't hurt my Dutch oven the biscuits came out fine just 40 minutes is a little long to wait for a biscuit so next time I will up the heat and just kind of watch it more careful and then I'll do a video again after I've learned how to do it There you go, folks. Really inexpensive, not hard to do. The kids will love it because it's chicken legs, winter, winter chicken dinner. Like, subscribe, share, give us a thanks. Bye. See you next time.